The second question is to solve operations with matrices. The operations are pretty simple. All you need to do is add or subtract or multiply. It's a basic linear multiplications and stuff. There are a few rules you must remember. Now, you know, if you have, say, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you can see there are two rows over here, R1, R2, and there are three columns, C1, C2, C3. Now, there is a dimension of matrix. Each element, you know, belongs to a certain row or a column, right? Now, that is like, for example, the first one over here. It is in the first row, first column. So we can write it as A11. Same with the entire matrix is given certain dimension. It's always written as rows and columns. Now, some, somehow I always remember this as RC. RC and always rows. Okay, 1, 2, columns, 1, 2, 3. So this is how I remember. When you add and subtract, the rows and columns of both the matrices must be same. It must match. Now here, how many rows are there? It's just one and three columns. Here also, one and three columns. Now we can uh, perform the addition. Here as well, it is two cross two, two cross two. Here it is two cross three, two cross three. But what about here? It's one cross three, one cross two. It's not possible. This is not possible to be done. So here it is impossible. Basically, it's error. Okay. So that's how we do that. Now, addition and subtraction is very straightforward. Uh, just, you know, add them or subtract them. Over here, 5 minus of minus 2 will be plus 2. It will be 9. Okay, I just... Okay, it's 7. Okay, my bad. Uh, I thought it's 4. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. And 13 plus 18 will be 30 plus 1, 31. And so on. You can just do the others. Now, here, minus 8 and minus 6. So, it's minus 14. Now, I will tell you how to do this in calculator. But never do such problems in calculator, adding, subtracting. They're so simple. You're just going to take more time using the calculator. But anyways, mm -hmm. let's see how to do it because it's uh, useful for the other problems. Now, it's a very good habit to just clear your calculator now and then. That is shift 9, 3 equals an AC. Now, what you need to do is go to mode and press matrices 6. Now, you need to... Put in the first matrix. Let's do the fourth problem here. I will press matrix A. That is 1. Now, what is the dimension over here for this matrix? It's 2 cross 2, isn't it? Now, you should see where it's 2 cross 2. You have maximum of 3 cross 3 matrix. See, over here, there are other dimensions as well. So, now, 2 cross 2 is option number 5. Now, you get this. Now, if at all you get confused, you, you're on the selecting of matrix 1. And you want to select 1 cross 3, but you're confused. You think this is 3 cross 1. And you select option 3. It's 3 cross 1. Now you can understand, no, this is wrong. This is 1 cross 3, which is error. So you can go back over here, mode 6, 1. And you can select the other matrix that is 1 cross 3. So this is how, you know, calculator helps you to understand the dimensions as well. Now we will go back over here and select this particular matrix to cross to option 5. Now I will put in the values. How you put in the value is first value is 7, press equal to, it is saved. Minus 12 equal to 15 equals and 4 equal to. Your first matrix is saved. Now matrix A is saved. Press AC. Please don't go back to mode and don't press 6. What happens is it won't be saved. You'll get an error. Once you save in first matrix, that is by mode 6 and, uh, you know, selecting the dimensions, you saved one matrix. That's it. Can you see here the matrix mode is on now? Any more, please don't click mode. You need to press shift and 4. Now you need to select the second matrix as well. It's not option 4. No, it doesn't allow you to fill in this. What you need to do is shift 4. You get the matrix options, right? You need to select one for dimensions. You need to tell what's the dimensions of the next matrix. So one is, now which matrix is it? Matrix A is already filled. Please don't press anything over here. Press number two for matrix B. And what are the dimensions? It's two cross two, that is option number five. Now type in the values, nine, six, four, minus nine. And then press equal to at the last one and press AC. Now, both your matrices are saved. Matrix 1 is saved. Matrix 2 is saved. Now, let's press Shift 4 
matrix A minus shift 4 matrix B is option 4. The answer is negative 2, negative 18, 11 and 13. The best part in this is you can do multiplication and anything you want. Say matrix 3 multiplied by matrix 4. You get the answers over here. If you want to say find the inverse of matrix A, shift matrix A inverses this option and you get the inverse. These are the inverse of your answers. And if you want to find the determinant, shift 4, option number 7 is determinant. Now press shift 4 and matrix A. Or you can choose any other matrix as well. The determinant is 208. This is how you can easily solve all the matrix problem using calculator. Now, I wouldn't suggest you for such simple problems to use calculator. It just takes time for you to fill in, you know. So now one more thing. Once you're done with matrices, right, to go back, you can go shift, sorry, not shift, mode and one to computation mode. Once you go out, you can't use matrix if you press shift and four. Now to use this, again, you need to go to mode, press option six matrix. Let's consider this to be matrix A. You can choose any other thing as well. It's three cross three matrix. Now type in the values. I will type the values six, four, zero, minus two, 14, minus 8, minus 4, minus 6, and lastly 7. Now, once you press all the values, press equal to and then AC. Never go back to the mode. Please don't touch it. Press shift 4. And what is uh, this matrix? It is matrix A. Now, multiply this with 3. Or you can write 3 multiplied by this. It's absolutely fine. This is the answer you can see. 18, 12, 0, minus 6. 42 minus 24 to minus 12, 18 and 21. Yes, it matches. So even if you do 3 multiplied by shift 4 matrix A, it's the same answer. So don't worry about that. You can rearrange it and write. And same thing over here. It's just minus 6. But the thing about uh, this particular dimension, what is the dimension? It's rows are 3, columns are 4. If you go over here, mode 6, sorry, mode and 6, Let's select the matrix B. Here there is no dimension for 4 cross 4 or anything related to 4. So sadly you cannot do anything if it's a uh, 4 matrix. You know the dimension is for either row or column. Only maximum until 3 cross 3 you can solve it in your calculators. But here you just have to multiply minus 6 throughout. And don't worry for say inverses or multiplication. You hardly get 4 cross 4. You never get that. Inverses, you never get it because it'll take forever to solve a 4 cross 4 matrix. It'll be maximum 3 cross 3. And generally for inverses, it's just 2 cross 2. So it is simple. Your calculator can easily solve these problems. Here you have been asked to solve these particular matrices based on the given equations. So now let's take our calculators. Now what I'll do is I'll just clear the calculator. And let me start from the beginning. Mode 6 and option 1 for matrix A. This is 2 cross 2, so I'll feed it up 2 cross 2. And sorry, mode 6, 1, 2 cross 2 is 5. The values are 6, minus 4, 3, and minus 5. Press AC. Never go back to the mode and 6. Don't go. If you go, it'll be an error. Now, what you need to do is shift 4, and you need to save the matrix B as well. That is option number 4. And sorry, I'm, I'm wrong over here. You need to go to shift 4 and put in the dimensions of what? Matrix B option 2. And now it is 5 cross 5. That is option 5. And type the values. It is 8 minus 1 minus 2. And lastly, we have 7. And then press AC. Both are saved. Now do this accordingly. 4 times, what is it? Matrix B. That is 4 minus 2 times matrix A, that is shift 4 and 3, and just press equal to, the answer is over here. Okay, this is it. 20, okay, where is the answer? Here is it. 24 minus 14, 38. So instead of doing all this, you directly get the answer, as long as you put the equation properly. So you can try this for all the other matrices, but remember, when you come, when if it was given as D, then you wouldn't be able to solve. Why? The dimension doesn't match. This is possible. Even the next. Now look over here. The tenth problem. You're supposed to subtract something with B and something with D. 
no matter what you can't do it because the dimensions do not match it is impossible it's not possible basically and over here it's c and b absolutely you can do it so that's the end of the second question very simple problems i would highly suggest you not to use the calculator for silly problems for equations okay it's fine uh, if you are doubtful that you might make some errors in the steps then okay go ahead with the calculator but double check your values and be careful of the steps when you're using the calculator to solve matrices.